sensor bar meta has been defeated. Or at least that's what we're led to believe by Twitch's newest announcement for their new guidelines and their new changes to their guidelines. And yeah, to give you sort of the Cliff Notes version, basically they saw what people were doing, mainly women, with their black sensor bar meta and the way that they had their camera placed and insinuating and making it seem like that they were either fully or partially new all that stuff people something that people have been complaining for a while now about twitch and the fact that they have been basically trying to cover nudity on their platform even, even though the platform isn't really about nudity in any way whatsoever this isn't a a corn website this is a website that people go to start live streaming so they can go and stream whatever game that they're playing or see or people can see what what type of art that they're drawing or just whatever right twitch isn't black and white in terms of what content can be put onto the platform but it isn't inherently sexual and repeatedly over and over and over again over the years especially as of late last year in 2023 they have just been doubling down and they've just been allowing more and more sexual content to go by, go by and women have been allowed to do whatever it is that they want they're allowed to show off so much of their bodies even though it's not a part of the actual community guidelines for the Twitch platform. They recently just released some guidelines saying we are updating the entire portion of our community guidelines to prohibit implied nudity while streaming on Twitch. This update is in response to a recent meta on Twitch in which streamers use black sensor bars or other items to block their bodies or clothing or position the camera frame such that the viewer is led to believe that the streamer is fully or partially nude. While most streamers have labeled this content appropriately with the sexual themed label and are wearing clothing behind the object or outside the camera frame, for many users, the thumbnails of this content could be disruptive to their experience on Twitch. While its content labeled with the sexual themes label isn't displayed on the homepage, this content is displayed within the category browse directories, and we recognize that many users frequent those pages to find content on Twitch. This update goes effective you know, today, which it was, I think, yesterday when this came out uh, on the 3rd of January. And yeah, basically what they're going to be doing is that they're going to be trying to make this a lot harder to see. So for an example, I mentioned this in my last video talking about their last guideline changes and the fact that they went ahead and they changed it back. One of the first things that you would see immediately was women wearing very provocative clothing and them basically just shoving their ass in front of the camera and they're doing something in the background. It was very egregious. There was no content being displayed in the just chatting category for Twitch. It just, it wasn't what it was supposed to be when I went there to go check the last time. So you know what, actually live, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now on Twitch's website to see what it is that they're actually doing on the just chatting portion. Oh, no, we still have women having a whole bunch of cleavage in front of the camera. So they're still, <sighs> Well, at least they're not, <laughs> at least, at, at least they're not doing the sensor bar meta. At least they're not doing that at the very least. But we still have women showing cleavage, which granted Twitch has said that that's not prohibited, right? That is allowed, but it's still just, it's, in, it's insinuative, right? It's still insinuating to be sexual in nature. And I know it does, it's not like that all of the time for most women. Some women just happen to have cleavage and that's perfectly fine. But it's the fact that we have certain women just blatantly showing off their cleavage on purpose. That, that is the purpose of why they're showing off as much cleavage as they are. They're not doing it because their outfit just so happens to show cleavage. They're wearing an outfit that is purposely showing off as much cleavage as possible. And that is very sexual in nature and that's very egregious. That's not what Twitch is supposed to be about. That's not what Twitch was meant for. And Twitch was meant to be a place where you can go ahead and stream whatever it is you want, as long as it's within the guidelines, talk to people in the chat room and just have a ton of fun. And just, that's not what's happening here. That's not what's happening on the Twitch platform. And sure, it's like these guidelines are going to help because they have made changes, right? They're not allowing implied or suggestive uh, nudity or fully nudity. Women have to cover their, their parts, especially, also men as well. I'm not, I'm not ex uh, excusing the men because the men also have to follow the guidelines, but let's be honest, it's mostly the women that have been going against these guidelines. And that's why these changes in, in terms of the guidelines have been changed. It's because women are figuring out any way to make their content sexual. And it doesn't matter that they have released these guidelines 
these same female streamers that have been making these metas, like the sensor bar meta, they're going to figure something out anyways. They're going to go ahead and figure out something to get past the guidelines, figure out some sort of loophole, have sexual content on their platform, and then eventually that's just going to lead people to going towards their OnlyFans. It's just another source of revenue. They're just they're figuring out whatever way to get people to go towards their main source of revenue, which is their OnlyFans for a lot of these female streamers. And... Yeah, you know, for what it's worth, you know, this this is a good change. They are trying to make changes that are pro appropriately reflect what the Twitch platform is supposed to be. But I have a feeling it's just not going to last for very long. You know, they're going to figure out a way to keep making the website even more degenerative than it already fucking is. What Twitch needs to do is they need to figure out whether or not they want to allow sexual content or that they want to completely get rid of it. Because they can't have one or the other. They can't have women constantly keep trying to figure out how to get past the guidelines and figure out some sort of loophole only for Twitch to inevitably end up making changes because people are getting so constantly pissed off of the fact that these streamers keep figuring a way out to, figuring a way out of the guidelines. Figure out a loophole to get past the changes and the rules of the platform. They gotta figure out something. I hope that they figure out something soon. But right now, we're just gonna have to see what's to come. So that's pretty much it for me. That's all I have to say. I just want to make another video for very quickly on the new attire platform policy guidelines, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Really quick, just wanted to talk about it because I had some opinions and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Drop that